Hello guys, so today's topic is anti-glaucoma drugs. First of all, we have to study this photo that I have taken from the first state. So how does the aqueous humor forms? Aqueous humor forms is produced by the non-pigmented non epithelium on the ciliary bodies. These are ciliary bodies and the aqueous humor is formed from them. Okay, so aqueous humor production is decreased by beta blockers and it is also decreased by alpha agonists. Okay. So now the aqueous humor is formed and it is it goes to the anterior chamber sorry posterior chamber and from the posterior chamber it enters into the anterior chamber. Now from the anterior chamber the aqueous humor has to drain. So there are two pathways of drainage. First of all it enters the trabecular meshwork into the canal of sclem into the episcleral vessel. This is called trabecular outflow and it constitutes 90% of the flow of or the drainage of aqueous humor. Second pathway is uveoscleral outflow it drains from the uvea and sclera so it is the second pathway right so first of all trabecular outflow is decreased by sorry trabecular outflow is increased by m3 agonist okay so can be used as an anti-glaucoma drug and the second thing is that the uveoscleral outflow is also increased by prostaglandin agonist so it can also act as an anti-glaucoma drug and of course decreasing the aqueous production by beta blockers and alpha agonist can also act as an anti-glaucoma drug now let's see a detailed version of what i just said about anti-glaucoma drugs okay so first of all the anti-glaucoma the medical treatment that is drugs is the first line treatment that is used for, it is the first line treatment that is used as an anti for the treatment of glaucoma surgicals are second line treatment medical treatment or the drug treatment is only the first line treatment first of all beta blockers so what is the mechanism of action of beta blockers we have already studied the mechanism of action of beta blockers is by decreasing the aqueous humor production is by decreasing the aqueous humor production okay most of the common most commonly used drug beta blockers are one of the most commonly used drugs for glaucoma and there are two types of beta blockers first of all non-selective beta blockers example is Timolol and then comes the selective beta 1 blockers examples are Cartiolol and Betaxolol okay so since it is a non-selective beta blocker hence since it is a non-selective beta blocker hence it has some contraindications the contraindications of are cardio pulmonary disorders then asthma and coronary artery disease okay and selective beta 1 blockers sorry selective beta 1 blockers can be used in these three cases now what are the side effects of beta blockers the side effects of beta blockers eye specific side effects by side effects i mean eye specific side effects there are although many different systemic side effects but what are the eye specific side effects of beta blocker we can remember it by abcd a stands for allergic blepharo conjunctivitis b stands for blurred vision this is important C stands for decreased corneal sensation. And D stands for dryness of eye. B and D is important. Now coming to the next type of drug, alpha adrenergic agonist. We have already we already know that alpha adrenergic agonist decreases the aqueous humor production and hence it is used as an anti-glaucoma drug so the mechanism of action is decreasing the aqueous humor production there are two types of alpha adrenergic agonist non-selective and selective the non-selective example is epinephrine and dipivephrine and the selective example is apraclonidine and brimonidine apraclonidine and brimonidine the selective beta 1 sorry the selective alpha agonist is contraindicated in infants 
सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस इट इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन इन्फेंट्स ऑल्सो ब्रिमोनिडीन इज न्यूरो प्रोटेक्टिव वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कमिंग टू द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ ड्रग कार्बोनिक एनहाइड्रेज इनिबिटर्स सो कार्बोनिक एनहाइड्रेज वॉट इज द मेकेनिज्म एक्शन फॉर कार्बोनिक एनहाइड्रेज इनिबिटर इट इनिबिट्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एक्वास्यूमर there are two types of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors first of all topical example is brinzolamide and dorzolamide and in systemic is it is astazolamide what is the contraindication of topical carbonic anhydrase inhibitor the contraindication is sulfonamide allergy and what is the side effect of systemic carbonic anhydrase inhibitor it is choroidal effusion now coming to the fourth type of drug and the most important type of drug prostaglandin analogs prostaglandin analogs what is the mechanism of action it increases the uveoscleral outflow of aqueous humor okay very important it is the drug of choice for open angle glaucoma remember it is the drug of choice for open angle glaucoma but not angle closure glaucoma what are the examples latanoprost travoprost and bimatoprost okay and what are the side effects very important what are the side effects of the drug side effects are first of all iris hyper pigmentation iris hyper pigmentation very important second is hypertrichosis and third is macular edema third is macular edema very very important especially in aphakic patient aphakic means one which has no lens especially in aphakic patient lastly hyperosmotic agents so in hyperosmotic agents in oral it is used glycerol and in iv mannitol is used what is the mechanism of action creates osmotic gradient what is the contraindication contraindication for osmotic agents you all must be knowing congestive heart failure and acute renal failure now coming to the last part and the shortest part treatment of angle closure glaucoma i have written it over here and you have to just remember it the treatment of angle closure glaucoma is very easy first of all you have to remember what is the drug of choice so the drug of choice is pilocarpine it is not prostaglandin analogs in open angle glaucoma the drug of choice is prostaglandin analogs but in angle closure glaucoma the drug of choice is pilocarpine but it is not the first drug first drug to be used is iv acetazolamide why because pilocarpine acts only when the intraocular pressure is less than 30 so first of all you have to use acetazolamide to decrease the intraocular pressure below 30 and then you can use the drug of choice of pilocarpine you can also use topical steroids and prostaglandin analog not a drug of choice in angle closure glaucoma but it is a drug of choice in open angle glaucoma